Bagels in New York are, are almost a daily item. It's, uh, otherwise, it's a food for special occasions, especially in a Jewish family. Someone has a baby, you have bagels at the bris. <laughs> someone, someone dies, everyone gets together you know, to mourn, and you have bagels. From the time you're born to the time you die, bagels are actually part of everyone's everyday culture. So what, what happened when I came to Australia, being, being a born and bred New Yorker, I just, on a Sunday morning, I just wanted my, my bagels, and so I started searching around, and I tried my first Australian bagel. And I had took a bite, and I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> so after a good year of, of looking for real bagels in Australia, I kind of came to the conclusion that, I was like, you know, how hard can I make a, a real bagel? And I said, hey, will you guys help me make bagels? I'll research the recipes. And, and they were like, yeah, that's a great idea. We'll, we'll, we'll work with you to make bagels. And we made them. So when I gave it to my friends, I gave them a fresh hot bagel out of the oven. I was like, these are what a real bagel is supposed to taste like. Um, and it evolved from there. So what you really want in a bagel is you, you, want to, you want to have this crispiness on the outside. It should be like a really thin, crispy layer. <laughs> and when you bite into it, you can actually hear it and feel it. But it doesn't get in the way. You, then you want to quickly get to the really beautiful chewiness inside. And it's sort of a moist chewiness with just enough lightness that, that you feel like you, you're, you're biting into a beautiful piece of bread. And flavor-wise, there should be a lot of flavor in a bagel. So a lot of what we do is we actually do a two-day process to make the bagels. And a lot of that is, is including cold fermentation. And what that does is it slows down the yeast. And so the beauty of a real bagel is the fact that there's all this beautiful natural flavor that is done over uh, time and patience. And I think people are quite surprised when I tell them the ingredients list is, uh, is not that complicated, but like lots of things, the ingredients lists for the best breads usually are, are quite short. We source our flour from smaller farms and, and mills. We've gotten flour everywhere from the, the Flinders Ranges um, out to sort of the central tablelands in northern New South Wales. We have a mix of organic and, and sort of single origin flours. One of the key things about a bagel is that you have to boil it. And people use different things in the water. In Montreal, they love using honey in the water. Some people like using molasses in the water. We put malt in our water. The reason why we, we hand roll all of our bagels is it creates a certain type of tightness and structure in the dough that is just different from, from a machine-made bagel. In the beginning, there was a lot of pride out there just saying, like, actually, we can do this. We can do this real product that no one else here has been able to do. Where these days, I just kind of feel like I'm sharing a part of my heritage, uh, my birthplace. I'm, I'm taking one of these foods that, that I grew up with and I, and I love, and I'm giving it to you in the most authentic way possible. And yeah, that's, that's, that's really satisfying.